My husband of 20 years decided that he wanted a divorce because I was an alcoholic. I will say I was an alcoholic. I went into recovery and while I was in recovery, he informed me that he wanted a divorce. The relationship was very abusive, very verbally abusive. I thought I could do this by myself. You know, I didn't need anybody to help me. I could do this and um, found out that I couldn't. I can't afford an attorney. You know, I, I'm, I was lost, totally lost. And then my best friend told me about St. Andrews. I don't think money should ever be a barrier to legal services. And I think that St. Andrew's mission statement of bridging the gap is really exactly what St. Andrew does. We are helping low-income individuals receive the same legal representation that they would receive at a big firm for a fraction of the cost. You know, we're able to do that because of our donors. St. Andrew's is a wonderful organization. They help people. They help give you confidence because you know that they're going to get things done. We're able to offer hope to our clients. You do have a case and we are going to help you and you are not alone anymore. I tell most of my clients that their main job once they hire me is to deal with all of the emotional stuff that they're going through. It's a tough time. It is often the most difficult time in their lives. I admire a lot of things about Sandy. It was really scary. But Allison, when I met her, the process started. It made, she made me feel more confident because she gave me the confidence that we can do this. We are going to do this. And we did. I watched her transform and become more empowered as the case went on. Alice made me feel strong. I was not going to be left with, once again, what he decided. And the work she did was amazing. Anytime I had a question or a worry or anything, all I had to do was email her and you better believe she was right there emailing me back. I was able to get legal access fund money for Sandra because her story was compelling um, and she was deserving of the money. She never told me that she was going to do that for me. And when she told me it, it took the burden off. It was the most sweetest, wonderful thing anybody could have done for me at that time. At the end of Sandra's case, I felt extremely excited about the result we were able to come to. Uh, luckily, I have a really good friend that we've known each other since we were 13 years old. We've known each other 45 years. I got a beautiful room in her basement, um, but wouldn't have been for her and Allison and my family, I don't know. I am now almost two years sober. No way am I ever, ever going back to that. A few years ago, I was a scared woman. Now, I'm back to me. I'm not that scared little girl who has to take the abuse. I can be, I can be anything I want now. In fact, I just bought my first car yesterday, and I'm going to pick it up today. All I can say is donate. Please give this funding, because they're really good people, and they really deserve it.